we're back with Cindy Mendel, with Jessica Burke, and Marian Allman. And you know, the one thing that I had talked to all of you about that I think is so important um, is your scholarship fund that you have for um, the, the school. And tonight, you brought me this beautiful poster, and if you can um, get a close-up of this, I'd appreciate it. We're going to be actually doing it on our educational channels as well because this is really, really important. The people that are here in the tri-state area, it's open to, am I correct? Well, we're very passionate about keeping art in high schools. Okay. And so many of the levies that fail, the first thing they want to drop is art or music. Okay. And we have supported the teachers in this area for so many years by letting um, the administration know that there are careers in art. It's a very viable business. It's, right. it's not just uh, drawing pretty pictures. So we decided to get together with small businesses right. and partner a kind of campaign, I guess you'd call it. Right. Uh, and our portion of it is to give a $6,000 scholarship to every art department. Every school. Every school's art mm -hmm. department they are going to give $6,000 mm -hmm. to one student. To one student to come on board right. to study at your college. Right. Am I correct? Okay. And the selection is made by the art teacher. Okay. High school art teacher. Uh, not through anything other than the art teacher, correct? We have confidence in them. And, and, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I was talking to you prior to the show, and it was really funny because. I said to Marion, um, I started a program in Cincinnati called Partners in Art Education and because I wanted grade schools not to lose their teachers. So back in the 1989 period and above, we created Partners in Art Education and worked with small businesses. You're doing something a little bit different than we did, um, but we actually had those art projects in the schools and then the art teacher picked out or we had a committee that picked out different pieces that would go into, um, uh, it actually was a car dealership to start with. And then we took it overseas and it took it to Singapore and then we took it to Turkey and this evening before you came to the studio, you got to see where it went. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the one of the projects that I wanted to do that I thought was so exciting was the Warren Brothers, uh, the Crew Tower, which is a um, such a gorgeous art facility in itself with Rookwood pottery and all the silver and design of that wonderful, gorgeous place, historical, that they gave me the whole arcade to put 900 pieces of artwork from kindergarten through high school. So I suggested to Miriam today that it might be a kind of a cool program and project to actually lend my program to you um, for an additional situation to bring um, people to your art school. And what we did at uh, Walt Sweeney's was that we used the downstairs part of the dealership and we actually hung up artwork. We did all kinds of textiles. We did everything that you could think of. We actually did it seven times a year. You could do it once a year. And it would be kind of different because it would really spread your name a lot farther out in the community than it's ever been sp spread before. And our, our scholarships were actually, um, we, we get, did savings bonds. There was no child that was left behind because each one of them got a ribbon or certificate for their participation. And then there were awards that we gave to different levels. So it was something kind of cool. What do you think about it, Jesse? I mean, I'm just smiling over here. I think that's amazing. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Because I have kids <laughs> in their 20s today that have become artists <coughs> that yeah. were part of that project. I would love to be a part of that. That would be really exciting. Sum it all up. That'd just be an amazing opportunity right. once again. Right. And we've talked to a few people in the community um, and outside the community about your school because we think it's so hot. We've been out to your school. We love it. Um, you're, you've won all kinds of awards. You want to brag about that a little bit? We're unique in that uh, you don't see a repetition of, of artwork. You don't see the same thing. Every student is different. Right. And every student has a quality that is unique. And we really appreciate and celebrate that uniqueness. You don't find that in a college mm -hmm. setting with, uh, right. you know, 
Um, tell me, I, I didn't get to see the I didn't get to see the upstairs. I've only seen the downstairs. Are the classrooms upstairs and downstairs? And the is there? Tell me a little bit about the building. Upstairs is for the first year. Um, we have a main classroom. We have a large lecture room okay. for lectures and GE classes, general education classes. Mm -hmm. We have a small lecture room as well, and also where the First class, I feel uh, pretty proud and lucky to be the first class to have a separate room and it has all the iMac computers with all the software on there. Right. You know. Isn't it exciting using software today, uh, Cindy, in comparison to what in uh, what it used to be years ago? Yes, it's so f and it's fast and you can change things rapidly and come right. up with many different ideas. Right. The I, students really love it. They love it. I can remember being um, at the Ottawa newspaper chain and I used to, I'll never forget my first day at work sitting without a computer and using a wheel Ooh. and trying to come up with an advertisement by myself almost in tears they really teased me the first day that I was there because I really didn't have that background but you know it was good because I learned the wheel because if the computer breaks down you still have to do the advertisement yes. am I correct that's right yeah. So, you know, it was a challenge, but learning the basics of it makes it easier for you. Now, what's one of the first things that you learned, Jesse, when you first came to the college? Well, uh, we start off by learning the fundamental hand drawing skills that are needed in this career that tend to be forgotten about. Right. So, um, you know, just learn how to draw everything, really. And uh, that's really... Uh, where our first year takes us all the way up until our third fourth quarter actually we get these new laptops and then that's when we jump on the computers but first year it's good because we we get to learn how to think design right. so and that's really important don't you think uh, Marion and, and, and Cindy well they get color theory too and that's important mm -hmm. it carries yeah. over to computer photography it's really also that they know. Yeah. photography yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. photography <coughs> Right, and, and, and also using maybe Photoshop. Do they use they learn how to use Photoshop That's as well? That's the uh, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. It's coming up. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I can imagine that is. Um, Cindy, why don't you give your website out again before we take a break? I think that's real important. <clears throat> yeah, it's www.aic-arts.edu. All right, and on that note, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. I'm Katherine Rakers, Born Before 64, with the Timeless Performers, and you sure are the Timeless Performers. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. For more information on our show, check out our website at www.bornbefore64.com.